Oh, hold him! Hold him, Richard Mangoro. Why what? Why do they need a union? Because of a better contract, better contract, uh, sick leave, uh, more uh, rights for the workers. They don't want to pay anymore. They don't want to give us those contracts. They don't want to give us uh, any any good uh, benefits. We need the benefits. I'm a union rep with uh, UFCW Local 648, and we're here supporting Local 2 and this boycott. Constantly under attack um, with our, our pension, our benefits, our hours, everything. Labor can't rest. Labor has to keep fighting all the time. We need to evolve into the 21st century. Labor needs to move on and march on, and that's what we're doing on Labor Day, and it's awesome. with our brothers and sisters at Local 2 to tell Hyatt to do the right thing. This is union territory. We need to keep the standards up for all working people. This is union territory. Our union right now, we, we, we uh, represent security officers, janitors, airport workers, subcontracted workers. It's the same thing, really telling high tech, the owners of big businesses, to do the right thing for working people. Oh, yes it is. It's, it's hard, but it's also good that we have so many people standing together in solidarity. Labor unions, community people willing to do what's right for working people. For our folks, it's about $12 to $13 an hour. We're fighting even to get to $15 an hour. So it is... Uh, barely. They've got more than one job. They've got to make very difficult decisions. And it's just not right when we've got so much wealth in the Bay Area. We need to stop this corporate greed. People need to share the wealth because people are working hard and they deserve better wages. It's offshore. Apple's got, Apple computers got uh, $20 billion or something crazy like that in offshore accounts. So they're not contributing. They're not paying taxes. They're not paying workers the way they should. It's really not a balanced economy. We have a weekend at all because of the labor movement. And this is the best place we can be to support all of our workers. We're here to support this movement against the people who want to take away the rights of the people because they're greedy. The people who work to keep these hotels and everything in this economy going. That's why I'm here. My name's Eric. I'm here to stand up for labor solidarity. The working people, we're under attack. Labor's under attack from the uh, big business rulers of the United States. They're trying to drive down our wages, living conditions. We have huge unemployment. We need a massive jobs program to put everybody to work. So Staples, they're trying to privatize the postal service. They want to take away union jobs that are in the post office, close down post office, and put little kiosks in uh, Staples that do full service for minimum wage. And uh, the Postal Workers Union is totally opposed to that. Are you the union? Yeah, I'm in 1781. Machinist. I am local. It is really trying to mess us over. They don't pay adequate compensation. And uh, they're cutting, you know, they put the, uh, they did what everybody did with Obamacare, putting way more of the insurance on the back of the workers. So it takes away any wage increase right there. Doran, Local 8, Elevator Constructors. Be in solidarity with labor. Get the kids out for an actual Labor Day event on Labor Day. Labor Day, this is uh, the one day a year that uh, America celebrates its labor heritage, and uh, it's important that uh, we remember that people are working every day of the year, not just Labor Day. It's under severe attack right now. Right now, we're pretty stable, but uh, our employers are always trying to uh, undercut our wages and benefits, de-skill us, and uh, 
and do as much as they can to get labor out of their business. At the VA hospital in Palo Alto, currently is a federal job that's using non-union elevator constructors to do to modernize their elevators, and uh, we're uh, we're watching that one and, and uh, looking into uh, Davis Bacon and prevailing wage uh, compliance issues uh, in terms of that they are paying their uh, workers. It's supposed to be a prevailing wage job, but they're paying the elevator workers as if they are laborers, which is a lot less uh, wages and benefits than uh, what the prevailing wage for elevator constructors is in this area. Oh